something. Lakini it is being sorted. One because we go sorted, other government miss either the chambo, it's not a change of fact. So teaching different figures. One teacher will be sure. Yeah. 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 So the intervention by Sport Pesa Foundation is very, very timely because their donation goes towards maternal and child welfare. Now, I want to believe that the contribution they are making today in terms of equipment will go a long way to supplement both uh, county government efforts and our development partners. Malava, as you have heard, has about 300 deliveries in a month. If you did that in a year, that is very, very high. Please make use of what you are being given. They would have taken elsewhere, but they have brought you. So please take good care of the equipment, make proper use of them, don't behave like the other Kenyans when they are given something they go and take to a store until that equipment becomes obsolete. Put into use what you have been given so that Wanainchi can benefit from a Sport Pesa Foundation. The county government of Kakamega has invested heavily in healthcare. But healthcare is a capital intensive entity. The equipment we will receive from the county and over one year because of the heavy utility. This hospital has about 300, over 300 deliveries in a month. That translates to even about more than 10 deliveries in a day. You know delivery is not a one-shop affair. This mother will report in labor. You will need to monitor this mother for over 12 hours before you deliver and before this mother delivers there is a stage that you reach and it is critical where you need most of this equipment to utilize you can have more than three mothers laboring at a go and this you require enough equipment so the county government has invested in healthcare, but you'll find that this equipment because of heavy use a good number of them will break down a good number of them will malfunction but we thank such an initiative from the Port Pesa Foundation because it just boosts our effort. And from today going forward, the mothers who will deliver in the span of the next one year will receive quality care because this equipment is adding on what we have. It is filling in the gap because health requires partners. We took a March last year, we took a different route and that is supporting maternal health. I think kwa wale ambao wamekuwa kijua sport pesa, we've been very big supporting sports. Uh, we've brought even international teams in the country, supporting local teams and what have you. But then from March last year, we decided to take now the maternal direction. Why maternal health? Because we feel it is such a necessity in the country. There was such a big gap in the country. Of course, already praising what the government is doing, Serikali, Mikweki, Fanyanini, and other stakeholders, but the gap was still there. So Popesa came in to just help in filling in that gap. Of course, we can't do everything but in our own small way we are still able to fill the gap that has been there so sport pesa foundation ikaanza march last year to mend into very many counties pengine umetuona uh we've been in narok in bomet in meru this year when it started our first county that we visited was actually in kilifi so january we were in kilifi and then now which is such an honor because i know march is actually Women Month, correct? 
yeah, March ni Women Month. So imagine how we are ending March by us being in Kakamega. So this is the second hospital we are supporting in terms of maternal health this year. So we've done so many hospitals, but specifically Mwakahua 2022, this is the second hospital we are supporting. The essence being to Nagaramia, the equipment that's needed to support maternal health. Our main objective is, of course, together with the other stakeholders to see how maternal mortality, child mortality or children mortality in Aisha.